Uh, hi, I'm Steve Kennedy, a teacher at Orchard Park High School. I was in a program at Buffalo State College. That's where I first learned about this microprocessor um, called the Pickaxe. And they've given us these microprocessor controller boards uh, along with the, uh, the two chips that are needed for it, the microprocessor and the H-Bridge. Um, and so you know, I can do something on a computer and I can tell the motor to turn on and download the program to a microprocessor and the motor turns on and it turns off when an input happens. Um, we could make a machine and use this as the microprocessor to control it and that's the, the whole focus of my program. I, I just changed everything um, and went in that direction. Oh, I love that. Do it at the that's same beautiful. time. Do it at the same time, Kyle. Um, this is our latest model. This was the pick and place robot from just last semester. Basically, it, it has a turntable that is driven by a stepper motor. There is an infrared emitter detector circuit over here that recognizes the part is there. That tells um, the arm to swing in. There's a micro switch detent. I'm in this white plastic here that recognizes it's at the proper position. Once it's there, it tells the next board to do its job, which was to move the axis up and down um, so the vacuum arm would slide down, pick the part up, um, and then that would say, I've just picked the part up. There's little micro switches here to the top and bottom that would recognize its position. And from that, um, it would swing the arm back around and release the vacuum. Anything to do with engineering, anything to do with science and math, that's what I, what I love to do. Um, and, and so for me, it's been very rewarding. Um, it's a chance to work um, and hopefully inspire some of the kids. The students basically did this as uh, their semester's work. They spent one quarter of a semester working for the design aspect. They spent the other quarter to learn how to run microprocessors and controllers. Um, and between the two things, they just you know, sandwiched together, and that, uh, that's the class. Um, 20 weeks with four kids. Um, when the kids do something um, that they feel proud about and they feel accomplished, I get goosebumps. I, I do. You know, that's the fun part about being a teacher. That's what, why I do it. That's why I think any teacher does it.